When the moon is here, its face lit full on by the sun, it's a full moon. Then, as it moves around the Earth, we see a smaller and smaller part of its lit half. The full moon becomes a half moon. On the day of the half moon, it crosses the Earth's orbit, and we can see our own orbital path. Generally, we can't really see the Earth's route. The half moon is like a beacon in the sky, showing us where we're going, straight towards the spot where the moon is right now. The moon is 400,000 kilometers away, and the Earth is moving at 100,000 kilometers an hour. So, in four hours, we'll be exactly where the moon is now. Look at your watch. Look at the moon. In four hours, you'll be up there. Twice a month, as you watch the half moon, you can visualize the invisible rail that leads us around the sun. We think of the moon as a nighttime object, yet we often see it in the daytime. Why? The sun lights the moon, and this is what happens before sunrise. It's still night. The moon is visible over the horizon. The sun is still below the horizon, but we can guess where it is because the crescent lit by the sun always faces the sun. Now the moon and the stars rise in the sky. Then the sun comes up. The rising sun lights up the atmosphere, turning it into a kind of blue filter hiding the stars. The moon, far brighter, remains visible. The moon sweeps closer to its alignment between Earth and Sun. As the moon's only slightly clear of the sun, it's almost backlit. All we can see is a very narrow slice of its lit half, a very thin crescent. It's all alone in the blue morning sky, and yet the stars are still there. So what happens to the stars during the day? They're hidden behind the atmospheric layers of gas surrounding the Earth, tinted blue by the sun's rays. The atmosphere is the air you breathe, and the blue filter that keeps you from seeing the stars. Our field of vision turns with the Earth. And when it sweeps across the portion of sky not lit by the sun, it's night, and we can see the stars. But not in the cities, where pollution and light cloud the atmosphere. Only the brightest stars and planets remain visible. Now our field of vision returns to where the atmosphere catches the sun. Again, the sky is blue, and in this blue sky, we see the moon more often than you think. When the moon's too close to the sun, it disappears in its glare. Although we can't see it, the moon crosses the sky during the day, just to the right of the sun. Invisibly. Of course, the sun and moon aren't really next to each other. The sun is 400 times farther away. It's not just the moon that crosses the sky, concealed by the sun's glare. Almost all the family of planets are sometimes in the same sector. Saturn, top left, almost aligned with the sun. We can't see it. Mercury so close to the sun that we hardly ever see it. Venus, never too far from the sun. Jupiter, the largest planet slightly to the right, and the distant planets Uranus and Neptune at the top of the screen. Sometimes Mars also joins this invisible family escorting the sun on its way. When you look at the sun, think about it. Planets are crossing the sky, incognito, hidden in the sun's glare.
When the moon slips between the Earth and Sun, it's the new moon. The moon casts an enormous cone of shadow into space. Each month, this cone passes close by the Earth, almost scraping the Earth as it swings by, once over it, once under it. But it doesn't touch the Earth because the moon's orbit is slightly tilted in relation to the Earth's orbit, and so the shadow passes above or below the Earth. Until the day when the alignment of sun, moon, and Earth is perfect, that happens twice a year. On that day, the shadow of the moon hits the Earth and hides the sun. The solar eclipse. Even though it's daytime, we can see the stars and planets. The sun is much larger than the moon, so the moon's shadow, projected on the Earth, covers only a narrow zone of about 200 kilometers. During the eclipse, the moon shadow races across the Earth. To the north and south of this narrow band of total eclipse, there's a large zone of shade, a zone of partial eclipse where the sun is partially hidden by the moon. To see a total eclipse, you have to be in the right place at the right time. So you're lucky to have seen it here on your screen.